He's back, guys. Hello. Ow. Jesus, hit my knee. That was not the best of entrances. Hello and welcome to another unboxing video. Yes, today I'm sitting down because, well, I'm being a little bit lazy today, you see. And today, as you can see, we're joined by the Tiger Raptor and the JP3 Raptor. So, what are we doing today? What are we unboxing? Well, it's related to this young fellow because when we unboxed him, I asked if you guys wanted me to do the other Raptor that I had. And well, let's just grab him. You guys said yes. So, for today's unboxing, we are doing the one and only Amber Collection Jurassic Park Velociraptor. The second Velociraptor that we have, and we're gonna scoot you a little bit that way and you and we're gonna first take a look at this there's not too much difference from this but one thing i will notice when i got this because i ordered this on amazon because it was way cheaper and one thing i noticed immediately on when i got this delivered was the amber piece the plastic part that was like you know connecting to all amber characters now for the human ones they have one that looks like amber actually instead of the see-through pl plastic that it is for these guys which is a little bit annoying, but I bought this guy mainly because I wanted to have that amber piece because it looks really cool and it would really stand out. But as you can see here in probably close-ups that I'm doing, it's not. And I was like, what? Why? Because it showed on the Amazon packaging that it did come with that. And I was like, oh, I've been slow. And I know that blue, the blue Velociraptor has it, but I'm not gonna get blue anytime soon because good God, I can't find it anywhere in stores. And for Amazon and stuff, it's like 300 bucks, which, <laughs> no. So, you've seen the box itself, like the Giga Fossil and all that stuff, but we're gonna just look at the back of the box quickly, and um, we're gonna see what it looks like. So, Velociraptor, the highly intelligent and aggressive... Wait, no, let's try that again. Velociraptor Jurassic Park, highly intelligent and aggressive. The Velociraptor is known to hunt in a pack and deceive her prey. This cunning predator proves to be one clever girl. Nice reference to Muldoon's final words before, you know, we lost him to this clever girl. And I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the big one and not any of the other not the other two, which I'm kind of surprised they didn't do one, because I know in the animatronics, like images of the animatronics, you can see slight differences between the big one and the other ones, mainly on the tail, because they did this detail on the tail, and I'll discuss it when I get it out of the box, but like one detail that many people notice is like for the amber, not the amber, the raptors and jape, it's hard to know the difference between them, especially in the CGI ones. Because, like, when they show the animatronics, it's usually in close-up, so you don't get a good look. But I've learned that, um, to differentiate them, the big one, which was, like, the main raptor, had, like, a pattern on its tail, like, little stripes. So, like, if you want to know which one's the big one, if you see any stripes on the tail for the animatronic, which it's very unlikely you will, because most of the wide shots are, unfortunately, just the CGI, but, well... Now you know the difference between them. I mean, you know which one's which. And before we get them out of the box, I just realized I, for I forgot the scissors again. So I'm going to be right back, guys. And I'm going to have to leave this mic here. So bear with me two seconds for another time. And uh, I'll be right back. Is it even better here or is it better here? Well, I'll find out when I edit, don't I? Once again, we're back with the scissors because, well, obviously I am not experienced with this at all. And, oh my god, if I do this again, if I forget the scissors one more time, I officially quit unboxings on the channel. Because, god damn it, this is the third time in a row. So, let's um, get them out of the box, of course. And, you know, oh yeah, one detail, remember? Side piece has the Jurassic Park logo instead of the Lost World one, which was this guy. And we're going to compare you guys a lot to each other, so... Like, I don't really need to keep the box and stuff, because I don't really like keeping the box anymore. They take too much space up. Alright. Well, he came out way... He came out way easier than, like, you did. You were, like, being a pain, like, I don't want to be free. Also, let's get this amber. Hold on. Aha. There we go. 
amber piece right there. And well, we don't need this anymore, so there you go. And let's um, free your bonds, sir. I mean, I can call the big one a s sir because I'm pretty sure it was confirmed to be male. Like, we know one of the raptors was male in Jurassic Park because we know they had bred before they were put in their, li their little box. Like, that was confirmed. I'm pretty sure it is male. I may. I think I might do a video on that actually because I want to go more into the, like, lore of the franchise instead of just, like, doing Dominion updates and all that stuff. I don't know. I might do that soon. Leave in the comments if you guys would like that. And is that all? Yes, that is all. And, well, you can put that there. And we can free the big one. Or, you know, she freed herself. Let's just be real. And that, bye. That was a little louder than I was hoping for. And let's scoop these plastic bits up. We'll just put them over there for now. Hopefully they're not like catching light or something. They shouldn't because they're in the shadow and I'm missing something. Wait. Ugh. Yep, I knew it. I forgot to grab this for the amber stand. And there we go, stuck there. And let's get this, wow, it feels so, it feels way different, like, hold on. Okay, they're both plastic, but this guy feels way different than, like, the tails feel the same, like, definitely. And, yep, got the kink in the tail. I'm gonna have to unwarp that eventually, but that'll have to wait. Like, good grief. That's gonna be a pain. I'm gonna have to, like, literally, like, it's right there. Like, I know the metal wire ends right here, because, like, you can obviously tell. And that's a bit unfortunate because I don't know if I'll be able to unwarp that. But let's get this guy into a position. Which, damn, this raptor looks sweet. And let's get him into a position of fierce power. Let's stand him up. There we go. The big one, Velociraptor. And I gotta say, he looks... I, I gotta say, the paint job on this guy, like, it definitely stands out more, but... I don't know, like, because I know it's, like, difficult to make these guys, like, stand out a lot more when compared to patterns like this that, like, pop, but it seems like something's missing from it. I don't know what it is. Like, it definitely is, like, the big one, the JP Raptors. Like, I don't know, because, like, the images of... I know they based them off the animatronics. I do know that, but... I think because there's not many good images of like the full animatronic of these guys, I think it was really difficult. But I'm gonna go into a quick detail that I really like, apart from this warped tail, which I was able to fix on this guy, as like you can see. Because when I unboxed this guy, he was just like this, and I was able to stretch him out. But it looks like it's gonna be a little bit more difficult with this guy, unfortunately. And like, damn that. That is the eye. Like, they failed on the tiger raptors because, like, it's supposed to be yellow, but it's gold. But this guy's really got that green and stuff. And, like, let's get that, sm like, evil raptor smile. Like, like if you get in the light, yeah, there you go. That is awesome. Now, for the tail I was getting to, you notice that there's, like, some hints of stripes that, like, are there. Which is actually shown on the animatronics. It's not in the CGI versions for some reason in the movie. That's always confused me. But, oh, oh, shh. Sorry guys, that was a door closing due to the wind. But back to this before heart attacks kill me, you know, very lethal, very dangerous. So like you see, in close-ups obviously you'll see this, but there are some stripes on the tail, like very, very faint. And I really like that detail because it's like, 
because it matches how it was in the animatronic like they were barely there and it really really works and as for the sculpt it's perfection 10 out of 10 and the paint job i would say is definitely better than the tigers the only reason is because it's more like the movie version like the stripes on as i said the stripes should be fully black and the orange for the head should be more downwards but like they still are the ones from the movies like it really works now let's see can i get him okay there we go he is standing but because the tail's a little bit warped it's not stretched out all the way so it's sort of i can feel it like leaning forward and stuff unless i put the legs like this because when it's locked the leg's supposed to be like this and then like that and because of that it's like falling backwards because there's no support because the tail's warped the wrong way so like you have to do it that but if you do it too far it's not going to stay up unfortunately but that's not the mattel's fault that's um well the packaging's fault because like they make it so that it literally slips in which that's a little strange they could have made the box a bit bigger for that like i think they could have or they could have like you know since it's a full wire actually they should have extended the wire because like it's going to be very difficult to like you know change this back to way it it's supposed to be but you know i will say this raptor definitely nails it and i i won't go too deep into this because like i've already gone into the mold and all that stuff in previous videos so in conclusion i'm gonna actually stick you on to this right here which just realized this is way taller than it should be because you can't even reach the floor i think yeah you're floating well he'll be raptor jesus you might say because he's floating he's like oh praise him and even they're just like well yeah so in conclusion guys out of 10 i would rate this one probably a probably an 9 out of 10 i'm pretty sure i can't remember what i gave this guy but i know it's lower than him like personally this is my favorite raptor of all time because like i love the tiger raptors they're just so cool but i will say for what this is it's awesome i can't wait to see what else they do with the amber collection like i know they've only said they're doing small dinosaurs which i still think they should go into doing herbivores and also big carnivores like just imagine like if you had like a stegosaurus that was like as posable as this like you could change the position of the legs the tail the head and even like maybe the um, body a little bit that would just be awesome in my opinion but anyway guys what do you think about this t toy is it your favorite of the amber collection raptors or do you have a different favorite leave in the comments what you think and if you've enjoyed this video i would appreciate the like and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button to join the hunt and hopefully this mic has been working this whole time otherwise well then we're gonna have a discussion later you and me mike but until next time be safe and i'll see you later Bye-bye.